It's Friday already? What? I don't know where this week went. We just dropped Tegan off at the nannies. We are gonna record some videos when we get back to the house. But there's a church up here that's supposedly having a yard sale. It's to support the Homeschooling Robotics League. So I think this might be a promising yard sale. It's today, Friday, and tomorrow. It just opened at nine o'clock up at the church. So we're gonna be like the early birds and swoop in and get all the good stuff, right, Ben? Right. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed, guys. There's gonna be some treasures. <laughs> what? We found it. We just have to cross cross the road here. Why did Ben and John cross the road? To get to the yard sale. Uh, <laughs> that's oh, not there, very funny. There's your exit. You were looking for the exit. <laughs> yep. I see it down there. There it is. Okay, we're going in here. I'm going in where all the cars are. I'm going to assume church eight, entrance. Eight to three. So hopefully all the good stuff isn't gone in the first hour. Usually yard sales are on Saturday and Sunday, not Friday and Saturday. Yeah, especially during the school year. Yeah. So, so this is highly unusual. Highly. But they're homeschooled robotics team. So right. maybe the kids are in there. I see one. There was one like just staring at us in the window. <laughs> just, just looking out the window is kind of creepy. Like, oh, people are coming. People are coming. <laughs> okay. For $1. We got, oh, for one dollar we got a little Ziploc bag full of fashion ponies. I think there are a couple Squishy Pops in there. Let's open it up. It was only a dollar, so we have most of these, but we had to bring these guys home. Right, Ben? That's right. Some of them, they look like they've been well loved. We have <laughs> Apple Bloom, Pinkie Pie, a Twilight with no eyes. Trixie is in really good shape, and she is one I don't believe we had. I don't know. And we also have a Starlight Glimmer here, who's a little grubby. I don't know if we'll be able to clean her up or not. We'll give it a try. See so a Rainbow oh. Dash. See a couple of these translucent ones that don't look familiar. Do you remember? I, I don't think we got any of those in the past. Yep. And one lone Twilight Squishy Pop. We had to bring some orphan ponies home because we don't have enough here, right? Yeah, we don't have enough. Ben got this Shopkins display case with no Shopkins in it. Yeah, it didn't come with any Shopkins. But I like that you can hang it on the wall. And there are little, there are little pegs on the inside for the Shopkins to sit on. We got Tegan, a couple new little storybooks. We got little Lucy, who looks like Maggie. Mm-hmm. And we got this Farm Babies book. It looks like it came with oh, it came with two puzzle erasers, but they, they were long gone. Yeah. We found some brand new cross stitching kits. Neither one of us cross stitch, but they sell fairly well on our eBay store. So those are pretty cute. And we got a Spider-Man life jacket, three dollars for Tegan. That'll come in handy this summer. He's outgrown the other one that we got for him. And it was fill a bag of clothes for two dollars. So Ben grabbed all the free tea clothes she could find. John yeah. doesn't even know what's in here. No, this is a, this is a, <laughs> this is a big reveal for me too. So we've got a nice little polo shirt. Because he outgrows clothes <laughs> so fast. Got another little polo shirt. Aww. We got this orange button-up shirt. Very classy. Yeah. And I think my favorite. I got him a little, little Hawaiian button-up shirt. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, got him some shorts. They look really long, so it looks like they're going to be like pants on them. <laughs> Some more shorts. And... More Some shorts. more shorts. So all of this, everything you see on the table that we just showed you came to a grand total of $7. Yeah. Also an estate sale not too far. 
the way in this area. We were originally gonna go tomorrow, but we found something absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna spoil it because I don't want to jinx it if it like rains or something and cancels it. It's Easter themed. It's Easter themed That's all we're and it's say. absolutely going to blow Tegan's mind. Yeah, it's gonna blow my mind. Yeah. I am super excited about this. So definitely stay tuned to tomorrow. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I was excited reading it to her. <laughs> so we did find the estate sale. Me being a horrible vlogger, I'm a newbie at this bit. I forgot to whip out the camera when we first pulled in. Well, there were a lot of people around. True, true. It wasn't that big a place. No. You know, it was like estate sale type type mm -hmm. stuff. Lots of books and furniture. Yeah. And there were and knick knacky like I don't don't want to offend anyone, but more like granny knick knacks. Sorry, gra sorry, Granny. You should say just older clientele interests. Okay, Ben informed me that I should have said <laughs> older clientele interests. There you go. You know, like porcelain Elvises yeah. and little cherubs mm -hmm. and creepy clowns, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Well, anyway, we did find a couple of things. We spent a whopping four dollars. Yep, we're big spenders. Ben found these, these Cabbage Patch Kids collectible button-ons. These are from Play School from 1984. These are definitely vintage. This is four uh, two dollars rather. This is two dollars for the lot of four of them and there are four different ones. We got Baseball Billy. I'm just making up their names by the way. <laughs> Carol and the Kitty. <laughs> Flowery Fran. <laughs> and Tennis Ted. aren't bad names, I'll have to give you no, that. See, I should have been working for play school back in 84. Yeah. And look at, on the back of the package it says, look for these other button-ons. Master of the Universe, we, you know, we all know He-Man. Yeah. But look, the Snuggle Bums family. Neither one Snuggle of us. Bums? <laughs> Neither one of us had ever heard of Snuggle Bums. I, I actually pulled it up on eBay before I started recording. And it's like these little these little, uh, like they have troll hairs, but they look like a cross between a troll and a possum. And we also found, hiding on a little spinner rack, this Inesco Corporation Pluto sitting figurine in the box. It was two dollars. We're always a sucker for these. We have like a little shelf going on of these little ceramic Disney figures. We would never pay more than a buck or two for them. Pluto here, he's in perfect shape. Yeah. Pluto. Nose. They're always missing their noses. Yeah, there was an amazing like Walt Disney World Splash Mountain picture frame, but both Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox were both missing their noses. Yep. So has a sticker on the bottom. Yeah, we have a Mickey and a Minnie and Goofy and I don't know. No, we have we don't, no, have, we don't Goofy. Goofy. We have Donald. Yeah, we have a Donald, we have a Donald playing hockey, we have we always tend to find these like you have to poke around on like knick-knacky type shelves. Yeah. And apparently everybody knows somebody who went to like Disney and bought one. <laughs> hey, it's good for us. Uh -huh. Two dollars. And this is all ending up in the in the Ben's Toy Bin collection. Yep. It's been hard at work cleaning. Tegan has had different ideas, but <laughs> this is a lot nicer than our living room usually looks. Yeah. Yeah. I moved a whole bunch of stuff around. When you have a two-year-old, it doesn't stay clean for very long. No. I would say yard sale season's off to a good start. Not many yard sales tomorrow, but stay tuned tomorrow because if all goes according to plan, it's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited. We may, there may be a sneak peek on Instagram, so stay tuned <laughs> to Instagram. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. Bye.